Hello, children of God. My name is Yemi. I trust you are doing well. Thank you for always coming back to this channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And if this is your first time here, you are welcome. God bless you. I pray that our time together today would be a fruitful one in Jesus' name. I want to share with you a vision that the Lord gave me, which I believe he wants to use to speak to someone today. I saw a vision of someone who was on a journey. I think I should call it a journey. And just as this person was approaching a place where there was a pile of gold, I started seeing arrows being shot at this person. And the Lord made me to understand that someone is at the edge of a breakthrough. But the enemies are shooting arrows at you. And I was also made to understand that the arrows are arrows of distraction. The enemies wants to distract you. They know that you are at the edge of your breakthrough. You might not know it, but the enemies know they can see. And they are looking, to, they are looking for ways to distract you, to make you turn back. To make you miss out on what, 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 what the Lord has prepared for you. And the Lord is calling your attention to this very thing today. I don't know what the distraction is for you. But the devil is looking at taking you back. The enemy wants to make you miss it because they know that you are the edge of a breakthrough. In 1 Corinthians chapter 16 verse 9. It says, for a wide door for effective service has opened to me and there are many adversaries. A door of opportunity has already been opened for you, but there are adversaries. And your adversary in this sense is distraction. That is what the enemy is using right now to make you lose, to make you miss this blessing. And the Lord is calling your attention to it. I don't know what your distraction is. You would need to sit and reflect on your life and determine what these distractions are. It could be anything. It could, be, it could, it could even be your friends. The, the, the distraction might be coming from people that you know. It might be something. It might be anything. But the Lord wants you to reflect on your life this morning and, and remove distractions from your life, whatever it is. Whatever is making you lose focus. Whatever is making you move far away from God. Move far away from your assignments. Whatever it is that wants to make you give up on your assignments. Whatever your assignment is. The Lord is calling your attention to it this day. You are at the edge of a breakthrough. And the Lord does not want you to miss your blessing. This is not the time to give up. This is not the time to be distracted. This is not the time to turn back. This is not the time to slow down. This is the time to keep pressing, to keep pushing, to keep your eye on the goal. Do not be distracted. I pray that the Lord will help you to keep your eyes on him in Jesus' name. And I pray that the plans of the enemies to make you lose your blessing, to make you turn back at the edge of your breakthrough, will be destroyed in Jesus' name. I cancel every evil work, every evil strategy. The Bible says in Job chapter 5 verse 12 that he disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot accomplish their enterprise. I pray that the hands of your enemies will not accomplish their works in your lives. Their plans will not come to pass in your life. Their strategy we become futile in the name of Jesus. You will reach your destiny. You will receive your breakthrough. You will not miss out in the name of Jesus. You will not turn back. The Lord will give you the strength to go on. It says in Isaiah that he gives strength, fresh strength to drop out. 
The Lord will give you fresh strength to keep going. The energy, the wisdom, the resources, the capacity you need to keep moving forward, to keep pressing in. The Lord releases it to, to you this morning in the name of Jesus. Receive it. Receive the power. Receive the strength. Receive the unction this morning in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Have a good day. Thank you for joining me today. I love you and I'm praying for you. God bless you.